So you have an existing fence line that you'd like to privacy fence. This is a uh, short instructional video on just how to do that. Here's a quick shot at all the tools that I ended up using. Just a brad nailer, impact driver, a drill, level, and a clamp. Just again, because I'm doing this on my own, that's sometimes needed for a, a pair of hands on the other side of the rails. Check your local uh, building codes and restrictions from the city, but uh, our properties are allowed to have a six foot fence, so we're doing the maximum here. That's just a two by six walmanized or exterior grade piece of wood, just installed at six foot length, uh, as it is two feet of stick out above the top rail. Then the only thing I've done to secure it is use two sets of U-bolts. Uh, make sure that you get U-bolts that are long enough so you have a little bit of stick out on the other side. So as you see, the U goes on this side, goes through, and then you just have a pair of nuts on the other side to secure it. Uh, they do come with straps. I opted not to use them. It was just another item that was going to rust. Once you've got your 2x6s installed to the fence posts, uh, you get these cross member pieces. For my purposes, I've got 10 foot centers, so I just took the entire 10 foot board. These are 2x4, again exterior grade uh, pieces of wood, and just put three bars. Um, the placement is really up to you, a top and bottom rail, and then the middle rail can kind of go wherever you want. Uh, once the rails are installed, you can put up the actual paneling. The way that I'm doing it currently is just brad nailing them into position and then coming back and uh, tap con or self tapping screwing the top rail. So for construction type, there's those U-bolts that I mentioned with the uh, nuts on the other side. For securing the cross members, I've just been using a pair of self tapping uh, star bit or uh, yeah they're just self tapping star bit type screws uh, putting two in per uh, you can do more if you wanted but I figure two is good for redundancy when you uh, first start the project it's important to set level all of your first pieces because as you progress off them they'll hopefully keep level. You can check it every once in a while, but as long as you've got your first couple set correctly, uh, that level should transfer through. I forgot to mention you need a crescent wrench uh, to do the final tightening. I mean, you can use your impact or whatever, but I just do it by hand. And eventually you'll have a completed privacy fence given enough time. Don't forget your uh, screws that keep the boards in uh, over the brad nails that you installed so they don't go anywhere. Um, I just did a single row at the top for now. I gotta go back and get some more tech screws, but we'll see if the wind takes any of them.
Thanks, and if you have any questions, uh, feel free to put them down in the chat. I'll get back to you or the community will. Thanks, have a great day.